Fish on, guys. Fish on. Not a bad little fish. Good little fish, 1.65, quality fish, um, an ETS. Um, they are feisty here, so he's getting a little excited. Let's get him back in the water. 
Uh, I'm going to snap a couple pictures here with my rod and then we'll get them back in. Keep watching guys. Guys, so a, uh, another fish here at ETS, day two, stopping after work. Um, so the same thing, fishing the uh, Wacky Rig Senko. Pretty little fish. We'll shot down his mouth out there. But gorgeous little fish. See if we can get a weight on him real quick and uh, get back in the water. So uh, stay tuned. All right, so we had a little struggle with him. Um, sorry if there's a lot of glare. See if we can get it to focus here. Had a little struggle with them. I just got them back in the water. We'll worry about waiting all later on the next one. Had my backpack on, couldn't reach at all. So instead of risking the fish, just got it back in the water. It's 96 degrees. Like I said, I want to worry about it's getting the weight and hurting the fish. So we got the fish back in. She's away. She's good. And we're going to go for another one. Guys, picked up another one. Uh, we got this from Gut Hook, so we're not going to hold on to it too long. We're going to get this hook out, get him back in the water. But uh, stay tuned, hopefully, we'll catch a couple more. Came out really well. Um, just dumped them in the water. You can see I got the grippers on. We're going to weigh them. Uh, stay tuned, we'll get a little weight here and see where he comes out. All right, so we're looking at one and a half. It's about what the uh, average fish is in here, but a beautiful fish. Let's get him back in the water and uh, keep going. Another fish on my Wawa Black. Can't beat them. Perfect sensitivity. Great bass fishing. I'm taking a break here. Let's go over uh, the baits for the last two days so you can see exactly what I have. Um, you can tell, pretty uh, common theme here. The one I have tied on right now is uh, this one here, Red Shad. Um, two color. You know, black with that red shad color. So that's the one I got tied on right now. We're going to work around the one more dock, which is right there. We're going to go out. I caught two out of here on the previous dock. I caught two out of here. And yesterday, because it's going to be a two-day fishing video, I caught the first one out of here. So pulled three out of here in two days, two out of there. So caught a limit in the little two-day here. Um, each one being about a um, pound and a half or more. So not a huge limit, but for this little tiny pond that you can run around in less than a minute is pretty good. So the three colors I used yesterday, this was the first one. 
was the 5 inch with the chartreuse tail. When I first got here today, I got two on this one here, the watermelon and lemon. So two tone bait, 5 inch as well. And then this last one I got on this electric shad. Um, it's got some purple flake in it, a little brown, a little white. Uh, I get to focus a little bit there. There you go. So it's been great. Like I said, uh, the setup, how I'm running it, same as yesterday. Got the VMC wacky jig. Got a wacky rigged. Um, sometimes I've been doing color on the side, color on the top, color on the bottom. All just depends on what I'm doing. Um, still running the Wawa Black. Uh, they've been a great rod. Uh, happy with that sponsorship so far. Um, we're going to do a review as we recap on this rod. Um, got the Lose Carbon Fire Reel. The rod specs are there. 7 foot, medium fast. Um, so great, great setup so far. So, going to work around to that third dock. See if we can't get this uh, red shad to, to get a successful on a fish. So stay tuned guys. Alright, so fish number five for today. Six for the last two days. Another beautiful bass. Um, another little pound, pound and a half. But another solid fish. Um, some other anglers out here, but uh, we got some nice success. So, beautiful fish. Let's get some pictures and uh, we'll let them go. Alright, fish number seven. Senkos are killing it, electric shad color, just tearing them up, cast after cast after cast right now. Uh, I'm going to enjoy editing this video, it's just going to be fish after fish. Um, of all days, I wish I had my camera gear, and I'm filming with my phone, because my camera gear is charging for tomorrow, and today I slay them. Awesome. Can't beat it. Hey, that's what fishing's all about. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, keep tuning in, I'm going to keep fishing. Right, what can I tell you guys? Senkos catch fish. I've thrown nothing but a Senko. Fish number seven for today. Eight in two days. He spit the piece of my Senko. Sitting right down there. He broke it in half. But basically going through a Senko of fish. But it's worth it. Uh, another beautiful fish. And uh, we're going to let this one go. And uh, keep tossing them in there. Alright guys. So I'm driving home. Feeling pretty pissed off of all days to forget my camera equipment that I had it charging. Um, just figured, hey, I got out of work. It was slow a little bit. You know, I'm like, all right, I'll just stop, fish a little bit. I had some time. Didn't have to rush home. And I'm like, eh, yeah, you know, it's 96 degrees. The bite may not be on too much. And, of course, I slay them. Ended up catching nine, losing two. So between yesterday and today, when the video, when you're watching this, you're going to see, I think it's 10, I caught 10 fish. Um, basically out of two spots, they were stacked up on this channel um, around the island where the water was rushing through, giving them plenty of oxygen, and I just was pounding them. I mean, it was awesome. It, it was the easiest fishing I've done. Everything was on Senkos. The electric shad um, Senko was awesome. Um, I switched knots, and I wonder if that affected a little bit of the action on the way the wacky jig was. Originally, I was using the improved clinch knot, and I had twice I had it slip on me. So I'm like, you know what? I, I'm, I'm not doing this anymore. I went to... Um, a Palomar knot and the hook stood up a little bit better obviously you know because it's you know it's kind of the way it's you know that knot just ties it down and clamps it down and I tell you what I, I was getting more action and I just start slaying them the electric shad 5 inch Gary Yamamoto Senko just every 2-3 casts I'm just pulling in another fish now are they monsters? No but in a pond that, you know, essentially I could walk around in a, less than a minute to pull out that many fish stacked up in one spot. You know, everything from, I think the smallest was one and a quarter up to about two pounds was pretty friggin' awesome. 
So I have to say I really enjoyed fishing. I didn't want to leave, but I got family waiting for me, dinner and all that fun stuff. But uh, I'm going to be doing some more fishing tomorrow, so stay tuned. Hopefully another video, and hopefully we keep slaying them. I'm going to go to a different spot tomorrow and uh, see what happens. Thanks for watching Fishing the Garden State, guys. Hit that thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and um, again, thanks. Have a good one.